Everywhere I go in Montana, I hear the same thing from our state's business owners and job creators, and that is that we need more high-skill workers. Our businesses have job openings that pay a livable wage, but they can't find the folks to fill those jobs. And that is why I'm so appalled by this administration's reckless decision to privatize the Trapper Creek Job Corps Civilian Conservation Center. Since 1966, this job training center has helped connect Montana businesses with hundreds of high-skilled workers who are prepared to meet the demands of our 21st century economy. High-skilled workers who once struggled without much direction and now have the skills to forge their own path. Skills like carpentry and masonry, welding, and firefighting. But despite this success, the president has decided to pull the plug on one of the most successful initiatives in rural America and privatize the Trapper Creek along with 15 other civilian conservation centers across the country, and then he's going to close the rest. And while we have started hearing reports of a reprieve for Anaconda, we have yet to receive any details, and as of now, the facility is not accepting new students. At the same time, the march toward cuts and layoffs at Trapper Creek continues. And that is why I went down to the Senate floor last week to fight for Trapper Creek and introduced legislation to stop the closure and privatization of job corps across this country. My bill will prohibit this administration from closing any civilian conservation centers in the next two years, preventing hundreds of jobs from being subject to the president's whims. And I won't stop until we get a firm promise from this administration that centers like Trapper Creek are here to stay. But we can't do it alone. Your voice is critical as we continue to fight to hold Washington accountable. And that is why I've launched a portal on my website where you can share your job course stories stories I will send directly to the Oval Office. Together, we can show the President and this administration that we won't accept this reckless decision. Together, we will save Trapper Creek. Good luck and keep up the good work.